I'm going to show you one of the best food tours that you can do in Bangkok. We're going to start off with a boat tour and then once the sun sets, we're going to get on this amazing tuk-tuk tour all in this beautiful city of Bangkok. Let's go. So the meeting point for this tour is in this local neighborhood. There's small alleyways, temples, little restaurants and loads of houses and it's a really big community feel around here. This is where the adventure starts. All right, Swadi Kab. My name is Om. Welcome to Hidden Bangkok. We're gonna float for one hour, and after that, we're gonna do like tuk street food to see the different of their diversity, uh, transportation of Bangkok, and also like the food. Awesome. Let's go. All right. So this is Om, and yep. I'm here with my friend Paul. So, so we're gonna be joined on the boat by another family. Yeah, I think it's around one hour for this boat tour, and then the tuk tuk tour is maybe like two hours after that or three hours. So let's see. The area is really nice. Follow you. At least we got shade. Gonna need that. So first time. It's exciting. I'm just done uh, the cruise, like the cruise here. I can't see on. Chao Priya River. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like this is a more local, more like. Uh, yeah, more authentic. authentic. Yeah. Should be exciting. Yeah. Try not to fall in the water. Okay. Hey, buddy. This one. <laughs> that was a struggle. Yeah, we've been driving this uh, because back then we didn't have sky train, we didn't have... Yeah, There's boat another boat coming. Like, you don't travel with my boat. Uh, There's a monitor uh, lizard. There you go, first look at the monitor lizard. <laughs> this is the medium size. Not so wow. big. Oh, look at that. We don't eat them, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like Thai people. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Like we are We've got life jackets in case we go underwater. <laughs> Just in case. Wow, it's really beautiful. Really, really nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. It looks like a flooded room. Yeah. Wow. How much is it to fill up the boat and gas? Um, I'm not sure. Let me ask him. Now, have. Ah, is that like 300 baht, 500 baht? It depends on how much money he has. <laughs> Look at that shrine. Oh, wow. The house collapsed, but the shrine still remains. Is that a spirit yeah, house? Yeah, that's very Yeah, that's a oh. By oh, the way, wow. so, yeah. It's really sad to see. Oh, wow. They got a slide. Have you ever seen that before? Oh, no. <laughs> slide from the garden. There's another collapsed house there. I think this one should be like maybe maximum 4,000. 4,000 4, baht. baht? Wow. But you have to walk from like the main stage quite far. And sometimes you might have to go through someone's house to yeah. get to your home. So this one is the artist village. This is where I made this bracelet last time. Sorry, yeah, Gab. <laughs> so friendly. If, if they're good. Hello. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> so it seems like there's a lot of restaurants, cafes, workshops around here. They're doing a TikTok dance. <laughs> they're doing a TikTok dance. <laughs> they're doing a TikTok dance. <laughs> See a lot of boats that go past. They just got banned already. Paul Villa. You rent it for 3,000 baht. <laughs> it's, it's literally sinking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Right there, so it explains a lot about Bangkok transportation. So we got the boat, the bus, the sky train. Oh, another one. Wow. That's proper old Thai style. So that's the Big Buddha. Yeah. Made from copper. It's called what? Paknam Bashi Charon Bangkok. Oh wow. So this is the reclining not, not, Buddha. Not that one for me, you know, this is like... Sunset okay, hour. Guys. Perfect time. Yeah, the weather is feeling a lot better now. Yeah, a lot more cooler. Especially with the boat, we get the breeze. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna stop off here. Where's this? We're gonna walk to Wat Paknam. Okay. Are we getting our stuff? Alright, so this is Wat Paknam, where the big Buddha is. And there's some temples. You got the big Buddha on your left, reclining Buddha on your right. Back then, that 
scooter was the biggest one. But after COVID, this one is the biggest one. That one's the biggest one now. Yeah, now I'm waiting for another bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> so peaceful around here. Yeah. Look at the all like the colorful scrap with the tree. So why why did he put that around the because tree? Because this is called holy tree. We do believe there's a ghost live inside of this tree. I like this guy belief because otherwise this this tree is like the in the middle, right? The the mm. Mm. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. This is Buddha tree. Yeah. Buddha. Interesting. Looks really old. Maybe an ancient tomb. <laughs> so we just walk into the Buddha. It's a little small flower market. So the cup. This is a uh, Mali. 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 Soy mac mac. Omdi smells good. Dao <laughs> Luang. Hey, cup and cup. <laughs> so I've seen a lot of like taxi drivers. You get in the car, they pull up to a red light, and then there's the, those people that sell them. Yeah. And then they roll down the window, they buy one, and they always put it on the spur in the middle, and then they pray every time they do it. So actually lost the tour now. <laughs> we got distracted by the flowers. Now we can't find Om. Where would they have gone? Like this probably is, this uh, way. Probably, yeah. probably to the Buddha. Like there's more stuff here. They walk so quick. They're over here. <laughs> well, we were about to be like stranded out here, you know? We don't know our way around here. It's yeah. Like... For a second of all, we lost. It's fine. Just look for the big Buddha and we'll go there. Look at this cat. So cute. Hot. Must be tired. Hello. Wow. Oh my god, that's huge. So in this area you'll see a cafe. This is like a temple or some sort of pagoda. And then this is the big Buddha. So it's been here for three years. Three years. I think you probably have seen this on Instagram, right? Yes. There's a, the crane and then the big Buddha. Yes. Like and now it's finished. I am so beautiful. It was made in Thailand? M made in China. Yeah. <laughs> Just like you? <laughs> by both. Just like my grandparents. Oh, sorry. We're walking in a picture here. <laughs> Another one. Made in yeah. China. There we go. That is meant. <laughs> so Om said it took like three years. It's not real gold, it's made from copper. It's ginormous. I don't think the camera's doing it justice. This is actually massive. <laughs> so this is a popular photo spot. You'll so see a lot of people line up here and take photos with the Buddha because it looks incredible right in the background. So this is Wat Pak now. This is where we are. This is where they have the big Buddha. If you come into Bangkok and you want to see something different other than Wataroon or the Grand Palace, come check out the big Buddha. That's why we got lost before. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think you actually picked the perfect time to come. We came yeah. around like 5 p.m. Once we got here like what, 5.30, yeah. cooled down a bit, so it's okay. Another cat. Seems there's a lot of cats around this temple. I used to have a black cat that looked just like you, called Felix. Yeah, if you're going to do this tour, recommend either in the morning or the evening. It must be the best part for sure. Where's it on? Oms disappeared. So this tour is actually called a Hidden Bangkok Tour. That's the name of the company. And the reason why it's hidden is because it takes you down these canals and these routes that are not super touristy. They're a bit off the cuff and you'll see things which are not the usual type of things to see. So obviously the typical places would be Khao San Road, these big malls, Wat Arun and the Grand Palace. But here you're going to see something different. You're going to see something unique especially by boat as well. And then after the boat tour, we're gonna hop on a tuk-tuk and just try some local foods. And I'm really excited for that. Sorry, cap. Ao ma prao na. Two. Song. Ao song cap. I love coconut water. 
Dude, okay. when I was in America, I never liked it. it tastes same. Like, kind of weird. Yeah, same here. Coconuts here they don't taste anything like like in the West, I think. For me, it's the the freshest drink in the world that you can drink. Yeah. So pure. Yeah, it's like one of the healthiest too. Yes. Like, all natural. For you, Paul? Okay. 100. 100. Alright, we got our coconuts. Cheers. Cheers. 50 baht each, which is. It's like a dollar fifty, I believe. One pound twenty-five. Roy Mac. So refreshing. Man. Every time I go to the beach, I have to get a coconut. Like, oh, yeah. it's my ritual. I have to. I have to. <laughs> wow, that is amazing. I guess this is like a temple or pagoda right next to the big Buddha oh and the lights just came on so at night time it lights up maybe all the way I'm not sure just up to here so we're gonna head back to the boat continue with the tour and then we're gonna hop on the tuk-tuk and try some different foods so let's go so what's the plan now on? now we are going to hop on the tuk-tuk and then get their street food awesome. at the That's local good. Chinatown yeah. hungry? <laughs> yeah, you got lions I love how it's, yeah, elephant legs. It's it's amazing. It's all like um, Burmese. If you go to Burma, you see like something like that. What? And we'd like to introduce you to Mr. Ong. Now we're to the diver. Here we go. Yes. You got, you got a sign on the back. Hidden Bangkok Tuk Tuk. It's on Tuk Tuk. Yeah. Nice speaker system. <laughs> this is a party Tuk Tuk. Let's come out of Tuk Tuk and then get the best food in Chonburi side. Alright, looking forward to it. Yep. Alright. Oh, oh, it's see-through. I've never oh, been in a tuk-tuk yeah, see-through. Like like, yeah. Normally like that, trying to look outside. You know, you guys are quite tall, right? Yeah. If this is not see-through, it's, it's a little bit, you know, like quite hard for you to see things, you know. True. So this is like easy. That's a great guys. idea. Yeah. Nice. Look at all the temples. Surrounded by so many temples right now. <laughs> I feel the bass underneath. I feel like we're about to go to Kaosan, you know? <laughs> Kaosan's yeah. not far. We'll go to Kaosan after this. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Alright, so this is the first stop. What's this called, huh? This is called Talat Pu. This is it on the yeah, side? Yeah, Talat Pu. Okay. So we are going to have their uh, Isan food. Sticky rice, papaya Isan. salad, Isan. Oh. Yeah. Try not to get run over here. <laughs> So right next to the rail tracks. Sometimes the train comes here. And like a little oh, bit like their... Uh, like that market. There's a market in Thailand where they put fruits and stuff all along the side of the railway, but not this one. Actually, this is the same line. You go this way. Uh, go if we like, walk that way for a couple of hours. Um, probably a day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get killed first. <laughs> so this is the first stop this of the, the tuk-tuk. Yeah. And this is like a barbecue beef. beef? And this is sticky rice in here. Yeah. You can do it like this. Ah. Yeah. So we dip it in the somtam like yeah. and then is that chili? Yeah. That looks spicy. Yeah, it looks <laughs> so we take the sticky rice. Mm -hmm. You make like a ball like this. Make it into a ball. And then you can dip to like this. Like this right? So we got lob, yeah. beef, somtam. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Or you can make it like the So on um, what's the name of this restaurant? So this is called Tukta. Tukta is that lady. Oh yeah. Yeah. She's uh, the owner of the restaurant. She uh -huh. came from northeast of Thailand, which is like Isan. What's the province? Um, not sure. Tukta. Majak Yasoton. Sorry. Yasoton. Yasoton. Yeah. In northeast of Thailand. Oh wow. Aroy Mat. Yeah. So which one is your favorite? I love. This one, but mm -hmm. with this more. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul, what's your favorite? Yeah. I'd say this one, the beef, the gold beef. Yeah, I agree. So that, that's why the plate's empty. <laughs> this is like how they make some dumb here, the papaya salad here. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen this. Yeah. So they've got like fruits and chilies and tomato and Green lime, cheese. tamarind. Tamarin. And then they just put it in here and just mash it all up together. And that's how you make sometime. So this is the restaurant. Super, super local. That's where they're cooking there. So we've got some chicken, veg, and she's making some papaya.
Papaya salads, tom tam. Tom tam po, which is crab. Po bala. Bala is fermented fish. Fermented crab? Crab and fish. Oh, crab and fish. Oh, look at that, guys. This is how they make tom tam. I've never seen this before. This is the first time. Wow. Nice. All right, and we're off. We're going to the next stop. Get some uh, noodles, I believe. Okay, sounds good. Cup and cap, thirty cap. So where we're gonna sit is right here, and it's right next to the train tracks. Yeah, so close. This is the restaurant, and then this is the track. All right, food's just arrived. Here we got some noodles, pork. Crispy pork, uh, dumpling, prawn dumpling, mm -hmm. and this is a prawn ball. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to go for this one. The vinegar? Yes. A bit of vinegar on there. So I'm just mixing it up like yep. this. Looks great. Yeah. All right, let's tuck in. Ice cream? Yeah. With the egg yolk. Good. Have you tried it? Yeah, that sounds very good. No? Never tried ice cream with egg yolk before. Have you? Never heard. Never tried it. So this is like how they make the ice cream with the egg yolk. And so different flavors. Just scoop. Yeah, normally like you, you use the heat to make the egg cook, right? But yeah. to use the freeze. You know. Oh, that looks good. Like yeah. So put the egg yolk. They leave like the white egg. Put in here. And then they sell it to the people who lifting it with. Really? Yeah. So this is like Oh, I would love that. <laughs> I've been looking yeah. for that recently. Yeah. 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 Like one. yeah. Egg whites. Yeah. Oh, one bag for 20 bar. How many eggs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 13. 13. 13. Good. One plate, yeah. 13 eggs for how many? For one bag and 20 bar. No way. Yeah. 13 egg whites for 20 bar. Yeah. That's insane. That's, that's value for money right there. <laughs> okay, so now we're waiting for it to freeze. <laughs> How many eggs is that? How much is it for one of these? Can you like 35? 35 But you can add the topping over there. Oh yeah. So these are the toppings that you can add on the egg ice cream. Corn, chestnut, yeah. um, pineapples. I'm not sure how to say this one. Uh, uh, lychee? No? Lychee. No. Lychee. Look shit. Yeah. So it's very Thai style. Very Thai style. Yeah. Maybe, maybe coconut well, and yeah. this one? Actually, I would like to try that. Sounds good. There you go. All right. Cop and cut. So we have our ice cream with egg whites, coconut and jelly. Train's coming? Yeah. Oh yeah. The barrier's going down. Let's go watch the train. This way? Okay. <laughs> he says this way. Should be coming. It's so quiet. Yeah. Seems like everyone's just gone quiet all of a sudden. Right. We've got our ice cream. Let's give it a go. Here's the train. Oh, it's really wow. Now everything back to normal. <laughs> yeah. This is Thailand food. All right, so we just finished the noodles and the ice cream, and we're about to hop on the tuk tuk again and just go for a little adventure. So let's go. And okay. normally, like we have one more stop, but um, we are pretty full. Yeah, yeah I can't, I can't eat anymore. Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's what and we're back on the tuk-tuk. What do you think about that, Paul? Man, I've lived here for three years and I've never done like tourism things like this, but it was very refreshing and to get a, another glimpse of Bangkok, you know? It's really nice. I mean, I've done a boat tour, which was, again, with Arm, this hidden Bangkok company, and it was really, really fun, but this is different. The 
you get to try the different foods, you get to see the locals, very, very different, it's nice, it's refreshing. And uh, Paul actually has his own YouTube channel, if you want to tell everyone a little bit like about that. Yeah, so uh, my name is Paul Lee, that's my YouTube channel, Paul Lee as well. Yeah, if you guys want to check out my channel, I also make similar um, Thailand content. Yeah, I'm just trying to share why living in Thailand has been such a good decision as you've made yourself too. So, yeah. Yeah, sure. It's the best decision for me to come to Thailand and I'm sure for you as well. Yeah, man. There's, there's no going back to the States. To, <laughs> We're here forever. <laughs> Uh, Samurai, but, uh, Samurai, uh, uh, Samurai has it. Samurai has it. Samurai has it. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs>